boy be T don't miss. Oh now, what's the word? It's your boy the Alabama Hitter, and you are now tuned in to Hit Squad TV. Off the rip, I need y'all to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell on the side to be notified on each and every time we decide to slide that way. My first everything out here, first shootout. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being real, like everything. This the hood, man. Snake, tell them where we at, baby. Hell time, throw that shit up. Mama, no, no. mama, can't you see? Hell time, What these streets of hell time done done to me. Yeah. It's real with a game. It's your boy Hiller. And today we going to hell time. Yeah. Alina, Arkansas. Home of the one and only. Bankroll Freddy, yeah, Freddy Gladden the third, man. And we got to talk about the situations. Talk about the situations that inevitably landed him behind bars for a 12 and a half year prison sentence, man. Um, Freddy came up hard, you know, he idolized his dad. His dad was a trapper, a banger, amongst other things. And he wanted to follow in his footsteps, you know, but when you have a talent such as Freddie and a swagger uh, as dope as Freddie and you find your way out of Arkansas, out of all places, to QC, the label. Something gotta change, fam. Something just gotta change. Massive number of federal drug and firearm arrests in both Little Rock and Pine Bluff. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell and these arrests are the results of three federal operations that were focused on violent crime in the most violent parts of Arkansas. Our Samantha Boyd was at the press conference earlier when these indictments were announced and Samantha, I got to tell you, this is huge. They're calling it a, mo a monumental takedown. Yeah, Donia, they are. It was a massive bust that was led by a massive team of investigators. More than a dozen federal, state, and local agencies are part of these ongoing operations working to address the pipeline of crime from Pine Bluff to Little Rock. Last night was a restless night for hundreds of law enforcement officers that supported uh, this multi-state, multi-jurisdictional operation. 45 arrests made Wednesday morning and 80 people indicted on federal firearm and drug trafficking charges. The U.S. Attorney's Office calling it a monumental takedown. The most violent offenders, the most violent groups, in the most violent places. These are our priorities. The charges all coming as a result of three federal operations, all trying to cap what authorities say is a pipeline of crime from Pine Bluff to Little Rock. We're all in the business of saving lives. That's exactly what we did today. Agencies all crediting their work to Detective Kevin Collins of Pine Bluff Police Department. Collins was shot and killed serving an arrest warrant that was part of these operations back in 2020. When my alarm went off at 315 this morning, that Detective Collins, his spirit was with not just me, but the entire team. Kevin wanted to be in law enforcement since four years old. So this is, has just kind of sealed that in my heart that he was doing the right thing. On the front row of the press conference were Detective Collins' parents witnessing the results of these operations. I know in Kevin's heart, this is the partnership that he worked so hard for. A partnership he not only worked hard for, but motivated others in it to work even harder after his death. I can assure you that that regret and that grief over the loss of his life led to an even greater resolve by his colleagues. 
Rapper Bankroll Freddy was one of those arrested today on drug trafficking and firearm charges. An indictment show he was part of one of the gang investigations by the FBI. He and many others arrested today are being held at the Pulaski County Detention Center waiting to appear in court. The U.S. Attorney's Office says there are still 27 fugitives who have not been arrested yet, but they'll be working to get them into custody over the next few days. Reporting live in, in studio, Smith, the Boyd Fox, 16 News. And this is my whole complaint about this. You are head of the game, fool. When you gonna put it down, when you gonna let it go, you know, um, QC the label, that ain't small potatoes, you know? You here now, you doing videos with Dolph. You doing videos with Megan Thee Stallion. And your grace only lasts for so long when you know you're doing wrong and you continue to do wrong. And just to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna give y'all a classic example of it. Check this out, that's Freddy running like a bat out of hell. It come to laws off the service road. This is the last time Freddie was moving and grooving on his own accord. You feel me? Uh, bam. You a superstar. From a part of the country, don't have superstars like that. On the cast that's really moving and shaking in Arkansas, they either dribbling or they running the ball or they pitching it. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't no slight to Arkansas, I'm just saying. You are the pinnacle of the rap game. And I know it's some cats in Arkansas that's spitting from Blytheville and, and spots like that, but you the one that made it out. You know what I'm saying? They pulled Freddie over and, and basically the rest is history, man. The rest is history, you know. And for him to have to go up the road like this on a 12 and a half year sentence in the peak of his career when he could have been out here dropping heat with Kenny Money, um, B.O. Little Kenny, you know what I'm saying? This guy's the limit. He missed the shot. He bumped the bag. I did a video uh, earlier about how my favorite rappers used to do um, TV shows and movies as their night job. But now the youngsters, they they, they smacking and spinning, they moving loads, they getting loads off. This is a prime example of it. I hate it for the young people because it's just how some people was raised. When you raised like this, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? This is normal. This is normal. If you don't come from this, then you know that this is far from normal. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Let me just put y'all on game about the entire situation. Man. This is crazy. So, check me out. Arkansas rapper Freddie Bankroll Gladney will serve more than 12 years in federal prison after 2022 arrest. Following a four day trial, Gladney, 30, was convicted in April and found guilty of charges, including conspiracy to dis distribute and possess with intent to distribute marijuana. Possession with intent to distribute my marijuana, possession of a firearm, or furtherance of a drug trafficking crime, and using a telephone in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. In addition to 150 months in jail, that's federal, y'all. Gladney was sentenced Friday to three years supervised release. He was also ordered to pay a $242,000 judgment as part of his conviction. There is no parole in the federal system. The sentencing comes after an April 14, 2022 incident in which Gladney was pulled over by an Arkansas state trooper. Speed. During the stop, the trooper said that he smelled marijuana in the vehicle and asked Gladney to get out of the vehicle. During the stop, Cooper said that Gladney began to get out of the vehicle, but then re-entered the vehicle and started reaching for something in the vehicle before being removed by troopers. While searching the vehicle, troopers said that they found multiple firearms, including one that was privately made, referred to as a ghost gun. 
troopers also said that during the search they found a duffel bag containing 21.4 pounds of high grade marijuana and $33,662 that was located in the center console along with seven ammunition magazines, five of which were extended and fully loaded. Gladney was indicted in May 2023 by a federal grand jury in a 32 count superseding indictment that charged him with numerous offenses related to a conspiracy that was investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Officers at that sentencing, Gladney received a level four increase for being an organizer or leader in criminal activity that involved five or more participants. Officials also said he received an additional two level increase in his guideline range for obstruction of justice stemming from a May 2021 wiretap call in which he instructed a uh, co-defendant to remove guns and scales used for weighing illegal drugs from his home in Helena ahead of a search by law enforcement. Judge James M. Moody Jr cited the ghost gun as reason for increasing Gladney's sentence 2.5 years above the guidelines range. Moody also mentioned that Gladney was on probation from a drug and gun case in Memphis at the time he was intercepted on wiretap in this case. My God, boy, you can't make this up, fam. This is what we call a celebrity. <laughs> wow. Shout out to Bank Road Freddy, man. As y'all can see, them boy got him on the side of the road and they going through everything. They going through everything, gang. And it ain't gonna end well. At this point, your life gotta be flashing before your eyes. Every decision that you made, every decision that you thought you got away with, you know, it always spins the block, man. Karma is real, you know. The saying, Quitting while you're ahead is very much a truthful statement. Sometimes we got to get out and know when to hold them and know when to fold them, fam. This right here is a perfect demonstration of that situation as a whole. Uh, Freddie didn't know when to quit. And uh, he took a hard fall. He took a hard fall. One of the coolest cats in the game, fam. Went anywhere that anybody wanted to feature and did features. He came to Birmingham and did a feature for um a rapper by the name of Lil Bam. Yeah. So you know, it's just it's sad that these cats they got all this talent can't leave the streets alone, fam. You know, where you come from is not where you supposed to stay by any means. Cats don't get it. Cats don't get it. They don't get it until it's too late and they in the back of a squad car saying this. I know I'm supposed to be doing this shit, but I'm dead wrong. Just to think, not too long ago, you was doing stuff like this. Little money got you drip like this. Drip like this. Drip like this. Call little money got you drip like this. Drip like this. Hey, drip like hey. this. Well, Freddie, a well-known rapper from Arkansas, has been sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison. It comes after he was convicted on multiple charges stemming from drug trafficking and firearms. Earlier this year, the rapper was found guilty on multiple charges stemming from a federal gun and drug bust that happened in 2022. So, fam, with all this being said, and I'm saying, I don't know about y'all, but I'm sending prayers to Freddie Glad. The man got 13 years weed and some promethazine found. <laughs> Boy, that's crazy work, man. But with all that being said, like I said, prayers go out to him and free the bank, man. Free the bank, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's best to go out here and get it, fellas. Go out here and get it and live without regret. You know what I'm saying? If you got a chance to go straight, go straight. Street life ain't worth it, man. And these folk hiding people. More than obvious. Salute to the squad. You still rocking with us? Hit that like button, fam. We gone. Ah!
Damn, man. God, Lord Jesus, why me, Lord? Lord Jesus, why me, Lord? Please, Lord, why me? Why me, Lord? Why me, Lord? All this shit, Lord. Why me? Why me, Lord? Why me? Why me? Why me? Hey, man. We on the way, man. They can't stop guys playing, bro. We're going for the appeal. You hear me? Malik, what's up, baby? I see you. What's happening? Mucci, what's up, baby? I'm gonna call you in a minute. Hey, man. They can't stop guys playing. I don't, hey. We ain't worried about it. We good. Hey, hey, Jimmy, it's all right, cause I'm finna, I'm finna uh, get on the joint. Okay, so it is. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta say, you gotta say bye to everybody, man. Hey, man. Y'all know what's up, man. I love y'all, man. I love all my fans, my support of my family, all the reason. You know? Hey, man, I'll be back soon, man. Hey, God got this, man. Hey, look. God is in control. You hear me? We got to sit back and watch him work. It's all good. Okay. You, you want to go live later? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. I'm about to exit out. Exit out. Okay.